Hi guys, Susanna here. I just wanted to show you the results of my test, testing under glazes and some glazes uh, and some effects that I wanted to do with uh, some oxide wash that I, I mixed. And here I applied the Celso Orib and then the Catalina Crack one. Look, I hope you can see how uh, cra the crackle effect looks beautiful and the color is just really pretty. And this is the bottom. Kind of pulled all the way here, but it didn't drip or anything. So I really like this combination and I think I'll be using more of this. And these results here, which I really liked, it's from, um, it's also Laguna, it's a Laguna Crackle glaze, but it's, uh, it's called Fractal Cream, which has no color, it's just a, a white uh, transparent glaze, but it's crackle. And I decided to mix some stains, mason stains, and uh, like this one is cobalt oxide. But look how pretty it turned out. So this is just mixing, I believe was three, only 3%, no, the cobalt oxide was even less than that. Maybe 1%, I have to look at my notes, but, and the other ones, the mason stain, I believe was three or 4%. This is the yellow uh, mason stain and with the same fractal cream. This one is beautiful with the cobalt carbonate very pretty uh, turquoise and it's all crackle look at if I can capture the crackle is very pretty and this one was with Bermuda mason stain this one I don't see as much of the crackle oh yeah I see it here on the on the back which I really like but putting this together very close one the bermuda is a little bit more has more green and this one is more turquoise with the cobalt carbonate so this is it for the test i also tested one the mango uh, mason stain and that was just horrible the color i didn't bring it out here uh, and i had tested that one before too and i just haven't had any luck with that one for some reason now let's get into the underglazes so most the, the reason uh, that I was making this test is mostly to see if I can find some colors that to substitute the Duncan underglazes that I use. So I made also a tile with some colors and I still have a lot of the Duncan underglazes that I use, but I, at some point I'm gonna run out and they have discontinued. So I wanted to find substitutes for the Duncan and um, I was fairly happy with some of the colors from Amico which I've used before I just didn't have a whole lot I I know I had uh, flame orange I believe it is um, I didn't have the red but I, I tested in here so let me go over these real quick so these are all Amico on porcelain frost, Laguna frost, which is what I use. And these are the name of the colors. So electric blue is a real dark blue, which I've tested. It's pretty, very dark though. And these are all with a little bit of uh, white. And I use the Duncan uh, white. So it's a translucent glaze, uh, underglaze. But anyways, it turned out, you know, 50-50, turned out just a slightly lighter, not much. And what I was very disappointed was the light green. I mean, the light green is very ugly to me. It's Now, Spectrum did not disappoint. Spectrum was very nice on porcelain. That is Spectrum Hot Pink. And this one, again, with a little white, didn't change much of the, the color, 
uh, but it is very pretty. I did get a real nice pink from the hot pink. So this is the this is Spectrum right here. I only bought three, as you can see, this three here on the top. Then on the bottom are some older uh, underglazes that I had from Amico. Flame orange, medium blue, teal. Teal blue is very dark. Uh, and lavender. Lavender is also okay. But the spectrum did not disappoint. The jade is very pretty. It's almost like a turquoise blue. Now, a lot of the, let me see if these are all Duncan. I still have some Amico in here also. These are some older glazes that I had. Now the leaf green, it's a little bit better than the light green that I had, which I thought was ugly. The chartreuse is good too. I like the, it's brighter. And the other ones are turquoise is pretty, pearl gray is just the gray. Now the Duncan, look at how much brighter these are. I have all the name of the colors here. The Cinderella pink is the only one that is a very light pale pink. Petal pink is a true pink. I, I really like this one. This one here is neon red mixed with white. And then the second one, neon red with white and the Cinderella pink, which is this one here, very pale. And it turned out to be a nice pink. Rose is a nice pink. I'm, I, as you can see, I'm looking for a nice pink underglaze. And on the other side, these are all Duncan. I mean, look at these, look at these colors. Look at the neon green, how bright. I mean, if you compare, compare the green from Amoco to any of these greens right here on this side here, and look how much brighter the Duncan is. So very disappointing that Duncan has discontinued their underglazes, and I hope Mako will at least bring these neon colors back from from Duncan. They are just bright and, and just beautiful. All this turquoise neon blue is very pretty, very bright. Papago turquoise is also one of my favorites. The chartreuse, that one is very close to the Amaco. But the green, the Irish green is also very a very pretty green. Hacienda Jade is a darker green, but they all have like a good pigmentation. That's what I like about the Duncan on the glazes so these turned out nice these were my testers the blue i used the electric blue with some of my other blues the papago turquoise the peacock green all mixed in and it turned out nice The pink, I used the hot pink with some orange in the middle and the yellow middle of the flower that look like a very nice pink. I used Castile blue inside, which is a Laguna, very pretty blue purple color. I thought it would go nicely with the, with the bird. Makes it a little <laughs> a nice salt cellar, I think, to use in your kitchen. Blues are pretty, hot pink really turned out nicely. And this one is baby blue, which I should have gotten a little thicker on top. You can see some of the brush marks. I was doing that in a hurry just to see what color, color that would be. I used um, Emico, um, honey flux inside and it almost turns like a pinkish color on porcelain so but baby blue these are some I believe it was red radiant red with some bright orange turned out nice the colors on these heliconia and then here is a mixture of all different greens and yellows on the leaf that turned out nice also I wanted to see how I can uh, fade the jade to the baby blue and it turned out like a real nice uh, 
fading into the, the other color. So this is Spectrum Jade and then the Emaco Baby Blue here on top. It looks like the sky here because I, I applied lightly. I didn't, I don't think I did all three coats. So it almost looks like you see clouds in there. And this is, it's not, um, it didn't separate the glaze or anything. It's just the uh, honey flux kind of was on the rim and it ran over here. That's what that, that other color that you see. But the colors on this one was okay, even though I did use some of that light green, but mostly I used on top of that, I used uh, some of Duncan uh, green. And you can see it's brighter in the yellow. And the orange is pretty. So that was that one. This one I had Colonial White, which is one of my favorite white glazes, glossy from Laguna. It's very pretty. On the outside of this one, I sprayed Kittens Clear, which is the ones that I also used on this one. Kittens Clear is what I use. And I decided to use some uh, red iron oxide on the rim, which I didn't like. I don't think that did anything for the glaze. Didn't look that nice, I don't think. But anyways, it's kittens clear over the underglazes and then I sprayed seltzer or uh, lightly on top of the kittens clear. And it gave a real nice, almost like a real light blue-green color. And it didn't affect the underglazes that much. I mean, some places you see where it faded more, but overall, it looks nice. This is, I like that flower on top, on the middle here. I use hot pink and radiant red, I think, a little bit um, to make the, the darker areas going into the lighter. And here, are some of the Duncan. You can see the green is much more brighter. And I used the violet for these berries and I think it turned out really nice. Violet with some uh, royal purple from Duncan, but the violet is from Amoco and that I think looked really nice. And I have some berries and some other work. So I'm gonna use this combination here. And this one is another one that I wanted to test again, the Seltzer Orib with the uh, Catalina Crackle over. It's a real pretty blue. I went overboard with the Cobalt Wash here. I should have just put just very little, but because it is a tester, I was like feeling brave and I was like, oh, I'll just dab a lot of it. And you can see it's really dark. It, it does run. Um, but it's just too much. But I like how the iris look. And that was violet with some um, electric blue and yellow on the middle. I do like how that one turned out and the leaves turned out nice. Some of these are Duncan and some, I think I use a little bit of that light green, but the rest I put my other green glazes from Duncan over it pretty and that is about it those are my experiments so i know not to what not to use next time and you learn from you learn a lot from making your tests uh, my two go-to go liner glazes are the white from laguna uh, colonial white if i want something that is pure white and then this is Seltzer Chun, which I had posted before. I uh, don't really know if you can quite see it. It's a very pretty turquoise color. But that glaze does not craze on porcelain. It's a very reliable liner glaze that I've been using for mugs and other, other pieces that I make. Functional pieces, so you can see it's very nice. And I used 2% copper carb carbonate, I believe, on this recipe. Next time I'm gonna mix 1% instead of two, just to be a little bit lighter, but it's a nice turquoise glaze. And that's it. Thanks for watching.